Again, I'd like to talk more about Xcode today. And uh, what I'd like to talk about today is the navigation controller, okay? Um, so to get started, I'm gonna make a simple project um, using you know Xcode here. And I'm gonna start with the create new project, or you, know, you can choose it from the menu up there. Um, and uh, when I get into the create project pane here, you can see um, it gives me some template projects. Um, I'm going to create an iOS project, and it's going to be an application. So make sure you're on iOS application, and I want to start with the basic single view application. So I'll choose that one and click Next. And then um, I'll give it a name. I'll call it Navigation Controller, okay? And I'll save it into my folder here. Click Create. And there's my project. Okay, so now this is going to be just a very basic introduction to the navigation controller. Okay, so first things first, um, let's go to the main storyboard here. Okay, and in the main storyboard for the single view application, you'll see a single view controller in the window. So you can see I'm gonna I'm gonna set the I'm going to set the size here to iPhone 3.5 inch. Okay, and that'll just save me a little bit of space. But you can see there's nothing else in this window, only this one box. So this box is my view controller, and it represents one view of my application. Okay. And uh, you know, we like we did earlier, we can drag objects in here and arrange this view. Let's let's do that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a label and a button. Okay, and maybe I'll give this label a title. I'll set the text to the center there. Maybe I'll make the text a little bigger like this. And uh, And I'll just put a big letter A in there. And this will be view A, okay? And then in the button here, maybe I'll, I'll change the text so it says view B. And the idea is clicking this button is, or tapping the button is going to take us to an, another view, okay? Now, as it is here, um, I, I only have a single view. So, you know, in Storyboard, we can create a view for a project, but we can actually create multiple views for an entire application, right? So this is just one of the views or one of the screens in our application. So to add another view, we're going to use these, these yellow items at the top of the, the object list here. So, so these are elements, you know, down here, these are elements that are, you know, represent um, user interface elements and other small elements that go into a view, right? But the yellow elements are full view controllers. So imagine these as being screens in your project. And they can be, they have, there's various kinds. You know, there's a basic view controller, a navigation controller, um, table view controller, tab bar controller. And we'll talk about some of those later. Um, the one I want to use now is this um, view controller, okay? So this is the basic UI view controller. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it into the window here, and I'm not gonna drag it into the other view, I'm gonna drag it outside, okay? And when I do that, it makes another one of these boxes, and I'll kind of align it here, and maybe set the, um, the size to the 3.5 inch size, so I have some space to work with, right? Okay, so there's my two view controllers, okay? And you can see here on the, the the list view, um, this is view controller, the first view controller here, and then when I click on this, is this is the second view controller over here, okay? Um, let me close that for now so I have a little more space. Okay, so there's a couple things going on in this window. This arrow right here determines the initial view controller, okay? So when I click on this, you can see it's got the arrow, and that in, under the properties here, or under the attributes inspector, it says, is initial view controller, okay? So if I wanted this view controller to be the initial view controller, I could check the box and the arrow moves over here. I think you can also just drag this arrow like that. So now you can see this guy lost the check mark and uh, this other one has it now, okay? So, you know, when, my, when I start my application, this is the first view that we're going to see. It's the initial view controller, okay? Um, 
So now I want to put something in this view so that when we go to this view, we'll be able to see it, okay? So maybe I'll, I'll just copy this, um, this text box here, this label, and paste it into this view. And then I'll position it, and I'll change it to a big B. And then, um, and then we're good. And maybe, you know, just to make it a little more... Um, you know, a little more obvious that, that that change is occurring. Maybe I'll click on this view. And when I'm in this view here, it's kind of hard to tell, but when I click on the background, I'm selecting the view object, right? So that's actually just a box that all the other elements are contained in. It's part of this view controller. And I can set the background color of that. So maybe I'll make this one a light gray. And then I'll go to the second view. And now I'm selecting the view there. And I'll select the color here and I'll make it um, red. Okay, so that'll be pretty obvious when we go from the gray to the red screen. Okay, so, uh, so now what I want to do is I want to create a segue. Okay, so a segue is, um, you know, the transition from one view controller to a new view controller. Okay, and segues are, are pretty complex. There's a lot of stuff in segue. Segues are also pretty, pretty simple in that, you know, you assign a segue to something and you know you're just going to go from the one view to the next view but they do a lot okay um so it's more than the than a word right there's a whole class and properties and everything goes with these segues so you know just to get started though what we'll do is we'll go to the button here and i'll hold the control key so i'm pressing the control key on the keyboard and then i'm going to drag from the button to the other view okay and you'll see the line there and you'll see the other view get highlighted. And when I let go, it's gonna give me the action segue menu, right? And so here's an action segue and then some non-adaptive action segues, right? And you can pick one of these from the menu. So, and there's, there's a couple things here. It's kind of subtle, but a show segue is your standard segue. And that shows that you're going from one view controller to the next. Okay, so it shows a progress through your application. And usually this transition is a slide from right to left, okay? There's also a modal segue, so it says present modally. So a present segue is usually a modal segue, and what it means is you're not leaving the current scene, but instead you're presenting something on top of the scene. Okay, so in other words, you're staying in the scene, but you're adding some more information, or you're putting a dialog box up, or you're asking a question, or you're doing something within the current context or the current scene, okay? So for us, I wanna go from scene A to scene B. Usually a modal segue is um, where this, the, the, the new modal information slides up from the bottom, okay? So the show is usually gonna be a slide left to right or right to left, and then a modal present is usually when the information slides up from the bottom covering the, the current scene, okay? I'm gonna pick show, okay? And what's gonna happen here is um, Xcode is gonna include this new item here. And you can see there's a little line connecting these two scenes together. Isn't that nifty, right? Okay, and it's got this little, you know, kind of box with a, you know, kind of lines. It's kind of hard to see there, but it looks like a slide or an arrow pointing in a direction, right? So this thing is the segue, okay? And it's tied to this button, okay? And you can't really tell there, but you know, when I click on the segue and select it, you can see the button is highlighted, right? And the arrow points to this, to this scene here, this view controller. And when I click on it here, you know, you can see the segue has its own properties too. You can give it an identifier, you can assign a name to it. And then it says segue and the type here is show and you can change that to one of these other types if you like, okay? So anyway, so there's our segue. Let's test our application. So now that I've got it working, I'm gonna, um, you know, you can pick a, an iPhone, you know, that you wanna test with one of the simulator versions. I'm just gonna leave it on the iPhone 6. And then I'll click the, um, the play button here and it'll build the application and open it in the iPhone simulator. So there's the startup screen and then there's my first view controller and uh, when I click on the button here it presents the next view controller. Now you'll notice that that slid up from the bottom right and I told you that a 
a show segue should really slide right to left or left to right if we're going back. Now the reason for that is that we're not using a navigation controller to handle the transition here. Okay, so the navigation controller is another object that manages your transitions. And so when you navigate through your project and you go from one scene to another scene or from one view controller to another view controller, the navigation controller keeps track of that history and it allows you to move back and forth between scenes. And without the navigation controller, the transition here has to be sort of a, a modal transition because it doesn't remember where we're going back from. Okay, so let's turn this into a modal transition now, or um, change it from the modal one into, um, you know, a show transition, right, with the navigation controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this segue. So I'll click on it and hit delete. And what I want to do is I want to wrap my first scene in a navigation controller because I started with a single view right but I don't have the navigation controller yet so I need to add that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this box here and it you'll see it'll have a blue outline so I want to make sure that the view controller here for view a is selected and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the um, editor menu and choose embed in navigation controller okay and you can see it opens up a navigation controller with an arrow here that points to view A. So this is our navigation controller here, and we don't add any objects to this, okay? So it just says navigation controller, and it just kind of sits here by, by itself, right? Um, let me change the size of this so we can see the two side by side here. And what you'll see is you'll see that the navigation controller is now also the initial view controller. So we're going to start at this navigation controller, and the navigation controller is going to understand that the first view it should display, the default view, is view A, and it'll load that up, okay? Um, you will also notice that at the top here, I have this new bar, and this is the navigation bar, okay? So this is the navigation controller here, and this bar has room for a title, and it can also place a button on the left and the right, okay? And you'll notice since this view is managed by the navigation controller, it gets the navigation bar also. Okay, so, um, so now I want to go from this view to the other view using the navigation controller. Okay, so you'll notice that this shows a segue here, but this segue is a special kind. It's got a different icon there. So the navigation controller automatically, you know, gives it this special segue to say that it it's going to load this as the initial view controller, okay? So I'm going to go back to this view here, and what I want to do is I want to select the button again, hold the control key, and drag to the view B here, the B view. And when I do that, you'll see that the, the B view gets sort of highlighted, right? It's got that blue box around the outside, and when I let go, it shows me the action segue menu again, and this time I'm going to choose show again, okay? And when I do that, you'll see I've got the same segue that I had before, but now I have this navigation bar at the top, and that's to show me that this, you know, navigating to this view is going to be part of the same navigation controller, okay? And um, let's, let's test it out. So now what happens? I'll click uh, play. And we'll test it in the iPhone 6, and you'll see there's our nav bar at the top, and then here's our button. And when I click on the button, you'll see it's a slide from right to left, and we've got the nav bar at the top here. But the nav bar now has a back button that allows us to navigate back to the first view controller. Okay, so there we have a basic navigation, and the navigation is, is working correctly this time because this is a show um, view controller type segue, right? So we're doing a show segue. So when I show something, it slides right to left to show me moving forward or, or progressing through my application, okay? And when I click the back button, it slides left to right to show me that I'm going backwards through the navigation in the, con in, in, in the project, right? Okay? Um, so anyway, so there's there's you know the basic idea there on how the navigation controller works. Let's um, let me go to the um, 
Let me actually do that one more time. I, I shut the app here using the, the stop button, but uh, you know, if you're in the the um, the iOS simulator, if you if you press Command Shift H, that's like hitting the home button on your iPhone. Right, so I'll do that to go back to the to the home screen here, and then I'm going to slide over to settings here, and let's let's explore another app that uses the navigation controller, and settings does that. So if I open up settings here, you can see we've got the nav bar, and then there's a list view or a table view here, and as I click on the options in the table view, like if I go to the general options, you'll see there's a slide right to left. And then I have a button here that lets me go back, and then it slides left to right, okay? Um, if I go to settings, and then I click on one of these options, like about, you can see it slides again, right? Okay, and then I can go back twice to go back to the, uh, the, fir the first view, right? So, so that's how the navigation controller works. Um, if I go to privacy here, and then I click on... Um, let me see if I can find one here that does the uh, thing. What am I looking for? I'm looking for one of these that'll show a modal dialog box, right? Um, yeah, you know, I can't find, I know there's one in here that does that, but uh, you know, if you see a one, if you see a view that slides up, that'll be a modal dialog box, and usually there won't be a button here. Instead, it'll say done or something there. Let me see if I can find um, find that here. I know I just saw one in here a minute ago. Well, it's kind of locked up there, so I, so I'm going to leave that for now, and we'll come back to it later. But but anyway, a modal dialog box when you run into one of those is going to slide up from the bottom. And then instead of using the navigation controller with the back button in the upper left, it'll usually have a close button somewhere or a done button in the upper right, okay? So one more thing. While we're on the navigation controller, you'll notice that those scenes in, um, in settings had a title at the top to tell you what screen you're on. And you can set that here in Storyboard. If you double click on the area here, you can say, um, you know, view... A for this scene, and then for this one, um, I can do view B. This doesn't have the the title there, so you can add it using the um, the nav bar here. I know it's a little weird because it kind of looks like it has the bar, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't show there. I'm gonna go here and find um, navigation bar. And I'll drag that. I'm going to drag it up here like this. And now I can set the title. And so we'll say view B. So that's got to be the navigation bar. You can't put navigation item here. Navigation items go on the either side of the bar. Okay. So there's my view B there. For some reason, it's underneath the other one. I'm going to move it. Um, over here, right? There we go, right? And then uh, I'll test again. So here it says view A, and then I'll click, and now I've got view B there, and then I can go back, okay? So anyway, there's a quick, um, quick tutorial on using the UI navigation controller.